Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna do something a little different. Not entirely different, I have done it before, but decided to keep this series going. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a really, really old photo of Greece, talk about it, break it down, take you back to the future, what's the past, it's the past. So, let's jump right into it. Today, I am taking you guys to 1889. So this is the photo we got for you today. Uh, at quick glance, you're probably like, what is going on? There's, there's nothing, there's nobody in Athens. There's nothing in Athens. All you see is a few trees, some flattened area. Looks like someone flattened that. Uh, you got a temple up front and then in the distance you got the Acropolis. And right off the bat, you know this is taken after 1874, 76. It's actually 1889, but the reason I'm saying that because the um, the Frankish Tower is taken down, which is taken down in the uh, 1870s. I believe it was 1876. Um, you can also see that the Parthenon at a distance is missing a lot of its columns. So shout out to the restoration project that's been going on for a couple hundred years. Um, but yeah, those that side of the Parthenon is put back together column-wise. You can see the Propylaea, you can see the, the uh, Temple of Athena Niki, you can see a little bit of the Erechtheon, and in the foreground you have the Temple of Hephaestus, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, one other thing to keep in mind, because photography is not what it was, not what it is back then, there's the problem of depth perception. So it, from just quickly glancing at this, you're probably going to say that Temple and the Acropolis look really close to each other, but in reality, they're actually pretty far apart. If you look carefully, you can see that there's some there's a lot going on in between, but not a quick glance. Then you then you have these trees right here, and you're probably saying, where are all the trees in between the Temple of Hystus and the Acropolis? Well, for the last 150 years, it took that much time for them to grow. Back then, growing trees wasn't that easy for several reasons. War, the need for wood, sheep tons of reasons but the most important part of this fit of this photo is this level dirt area this isn't there anymore instead you are now able to get a ticket and go explore the ancient agora agora so this was excavated in the early 1900s but before that nobody knew it was there there was even homes built over um, ancient Agora. So even on the other side of Hephaestus, during this time, there's some homes. Those were bought out, destroyed, and excavated so we can find all the ruins that make up ancient Agora. Um, other than that, another key thing to keep in mind, a lot of times you run into these photos and you say, oh man, Greece was a desert back then because they, they have that yellow hint. Not the case. It, it had the same bright color as it has today, just not as many green trees surrounding the Acropolis uh, of Athens. However, if this was colorized, you'd have a completely different idea of it. But I want to show you one more photo. Um, I'm not sure if it's the exact year, but it's in the same range. So now picture yourself in that far distance if you were to climb up sort of to the left of the Parthenon and take a photo of Hephaestus facing this way, well, this is what you'd find. So now, that temple down there, that's the Temple of Hephaestus. All around it's ancient Agora. These homes, not some of them are still there, but most of them were uh, removed. And then in the distance, you'll see that Athens was pretty barren. It was just farmlands and just a bunch of nothingness for a while. Keep in mind, this is only about a half a century into the country be becoming the Hellenic Republic that we know it today um, after the war that we won. So this is another really, really cool photo from the Acropolis pointing at Temple of Hephaestus and ancient Agora, which is now completely excavated. You can go check it out yourself. Uh, but let me take you back to the original photo that we're doing this video on again. Greece was, Athens was not entirely like what you see here. This is a well-framed photo to give you that feel. Um, you have the Temple of Hephaestus, you have the Acropolis of Athens in the background, Parthenon missing tons of its columns, 
However, nowadays those are back in place, except on the other side, there's a few that will never be replaced because they're just not enough material. Um, and like we said, this dirt area was excavated, I believe, in early 1900s, around 1930s, 1920s. So a few, a few decades after this photo was taken. So I'm not necessarily prepared or flattened for that purpose. I think this was naturally like this. Um, so there you have it. Photo of Athens, Greece from 1889. Uh, when I posted this photo on my Facebook a few months ago, it went absolutely bonkers. Even on my Instagram, it went bonkers. I think collectively, it got like over a couple million views, like 35,000 likes, uh, just because it's such a shocker. Like everyone that knows Athens, this is not what they expect. But 150 years ago, this is not entirely what it was, but it was. So Athens was all the homes and buildings that you see now, the apartment buildings, that stuff didn't exist before the 1950s. So a lot has changed in the last 70 years and it seems like it's only growing. Um, if you, there's some other photos that I'll cover in other episodes where you can see views of from the Acropolis that face towards the sea. And if you look from today, you're just going to see home and town and neighborhood after neighborhood after neighborhood after neighborhood all the way down to Barrio Falido father all that stuff back then it was right at, immediately after the neighborhood around the acropolis emptiness all the way to the sea so greece, greece has come a long way so if you like this video hit like subscribe if you want to see more subscribe it helps the channel uh drop a comment let me know have you seen this photo before did you know that this is what's happening in this photo and Send this to a friend and teach them a little bit Greek history. So talk to you guys in the next episode. See ya.